what's going on so listen i'm right here by the computer because i want to take a closer look at that article i was talking to you guys about now the thing is this the reason i want to take a closer look at it is because i had some people say oh man people are going to think you're crazy man you shouldn't be telling people this stuff you shouldn't be making these videos listen i i didn't want to tell people that these things were happening to me i thought you know I knew I wasn't crazy. I see this stuff happening, but I knew people would think I was crazy. So I wasn't going to say anything. But then when I started looking online and I see that they were working on this technology two years ago, when I see other people are having these things happen to them, that made me feel like, yo, it's getting to the point where someone's got to talk about it. I already knew what was going on when I seen it happen to me, but I did feel like people would look at me like I was crazy. But then when I seen this going on with other people out there, when I see they have admitted they're working on this technology, now I know, man, it's time to stand up. It doesn't matter how people look at me. And, you know, like I said, I had people contact me and say this stuff, but that's why we're going to take a closer look at this article today. Even though after I, like, I just don't understand when I explain to you that the situation with the movie Sleepwalkers, like, I went to see this movie 27 years ago with my friend who watches some of these videos. He no longer lives in the state. He lives in Pennsylvania. My buddy, Kerry, shout out if you're watching. He comments. He commented on the last video. Let me ask you something directly. You remember when we seen that movie 27 years ago, right? We went to a movie theater. Have you seen anything about that movie anywhere since then? Let me ask everybody watching, anybody, have you seen anything about a movie called Sleepwalkers? any time in the past 27 years i haven't seen this movie advertised ever i haven't seen this movie for sale in walmart i'm always looking through the movies they have because they got good deals you get movies for like three bucks or five bucks or double features for seven bucks so i'm always looking through the movies at walmart i've never seen this movie for sale there i have never seen this movie in fye we could take it back way further to the blockbuster days i haven't even seen this movie back then in blockbuster I haven't searched this movie. I haven't talked about this movie. This movie never comes up. What are the chances that a movie that nobody out there sees advertised that I haven't thought about, heard about, seen anything in 27 years that after 27 years, the one time that I happen to think of this movie Sleepwalkers, that the very next time I get on the phone, the very first thing I see is an advertisement to rent this movie. Now, this isn't the only thing that happened to me. I showed you guys two other examples of thoughts being shown to me on my phone right after the very next thing I see on my phone right after I have these thoughts they're on the phone there was another one too I didn't even bring up it's about um, we had what we had for dinner we didn't even talk about it we called it steak we didn't call it stir fry steak my wife only cooks one style steak but it's stir fry steak but we just say we have a steak tonight we'll go to the store get some steak we had the stir fry steak no one mentioned stir fry immediately after i ate my dinner i go on youtube and it says how to stir fry 101 i don't search cooking videos that was the only cooking video that came up and it's immediately after i just ate that food and no one talked about it like i said there's other examples it's there's examples of the people online that i shared with you the person that worked at a co -work, looked at a co-worker's bracelet didn't mention the bracelet didn't search for the bracelet she just looked at the bracelet then she's getting advertisements for that bracelet um uh, you can see online people keep asking what's going on they're asking if this technology is out there because they're having it happen to them somebody who wanted to call out of work they're trying to think of an excuse they could tell their boss so they settled on the excuse that they were going to say they were going to visit their mother in naples florida they didn't search trips to naples florida because they really weren't going they didn't mention to anyone else that they were going to naples florida they didn't even mention it to their boss yet they just thought of the excuse immediately they start getting advertisements on pandora for trips to naples florida or the guy who said he lives in a warm climate, so there's no reason for him to see winter gear advertised to him. But he started just randomly thought about the boots that hikers wear. Immediately after that, he starts seeing advertisements for the exact same boots. He didn't mention this, didn't talk about it, didn't search for it. It's just a thought he had. Even the producer of the Joe Rogan podcast, they were talking, I think it was a couple months ago, they were talking about, do phones listen to our conversations? The producer, Jamie, said he had something even crazier happen to him. On three separate occasions, he was in stores, he would pick up a product, look at the product, read the label, put the product back down, never mention the product, never search for the product, never purchase the product. And on three separate occasions, after picking up different products, he'd had these products advertised to, them, to him later in the day. What's the explanation for this? But then I go into detail on these articles. I show you that Facebook was working on this technology years ago. So let's take a closer look at that. This is a two-year-old article. I just want you guys to think for a second. How much does technology increase in two years? 
Well, there's something called Moore's Law. Moore's Law asserts that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles about every two years, though the cost of computers is halved. So think about that. While the price of a computer is cut in half every two years, the capability of that computer is doubled. Now, this is only what they're sharing with us. Now, I want you to ask yourself a question. Do you think they're sharing everything with us? Do you think they tell us about every technology that they come out with? I mean, just look at this. This is just an article that came out last week. Pentagon says all of Google's work on drones is exempt from the Freedom of Information Act. The Pentagon's made it illegal for Google to share the technology that they're giving them. So that right there shows us that there's technology out there that we're not being um, allowed access to, that we're not privy to. I mean, it only makes sense. Do you think they're just going to give us all the newest technology first or that they're going to use it for themselves first? That they're going to test it out first, that they're going to beta test it, that they're going to use it to get something out of it before they share it with other people. All right, now let's take a look at the article. Let's go into detail on this article. Let's read, actually read this article. Facebook finally released details on their top secret brain computer interface. Zuckerberg is on a quest to merge computers and the human brain. Facebook's annual developers conference is in full swing this week. Ultimately, this event serves as an opportunity for the company to unveil their most innovative products and to reveal key details about the upcoming projects. And nothing is more promising or intriguing than what's coming out of Facebook's mysterious Building 8. Currently, we know very little about B8 as none of their projects have been officially detailed. But rumors are swirling, and it's not like we don't know anything. We have some big, overarching information about the general work being done there. It seems that B8 is working on four primary projects. These are said to include augmented reality, drones, cameras, and direct brain-computer interfaces, also known as BCIs. Now look what it tells us right here. We know very little about what's going on in B8. This is what we're allowed to know. So it tells us right there, they're not telling us everything. They're only giving us a small glimpse. So if this, do you think the small glimpse that we're getting is of the high level stuff? Think about that. All right, yes, Facebook is working on computers that are meant to interface with our brains. During the opening event yesterday, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced that today, speakers at the conference would discuss where they are in relation to their work on the BCI technology. At the event, he stated that we would hear from Regina Dugan about some of the work that they are doing to build even further out beyond augmented reality, and that includes work around direct brain interfaces that are going to eventually, one day, let you communicate using only your mind. Dugan is a former DARPA executive. Now, in future videos, we'll go into more detail about DARPA and what they work on. If you want to talk about cutting-edge, top-secret technology, look into DARPA. She also worked for Google's Advanced Projects Division. Now, Dugan has finally released information about the work B8 has been doing. The highlights in the video of the, of the event are below. This story is developing. All right, so let's look at the highlights right here. Facebook is working to, to develop a brain-computer interface that will, in the future, allow individuals to communicate with other people without speaking. Ultimately, they hope to develop a technology that allows individuals to speak using nothing but their thoughts, unconstrained by time or distance. They want to create category-defining products that are social first, products that allow us to form more human connections and in the end, unite the digital world of the internet with the physical world of the human mind. Dugan notes that the brain produces about one terabyte per second. However, through speech, we can only transmit information to others at about a hundred bytes per second. Facebook wants to get all of the information that is transmitted to our speech center out of the brain and into the world to allow us to get it to others at will. For their beginning work, they hope to allow humans to type and click through our brains in order to interact with our technology. For example, people with ALS could type not with eye blinks, but with their thoughts. Thus, they wish to decode speech and allow individuals to communicate using our brainwaves. 
Initially, their goal is to allow people to type five times faster than people can type on a smartphone straight from their brain. This means that they are developing technologies that can read the human brain in order to, to transmit this information. Next, they will work to allow people to type, type, because they're really just using, they're just having thoughts, a staggering hundred words a minute using their thoughts. That's far, far faster than most humans can type on a computer. The average person types between 38 and 40 words per minute. They have developed actuators that allow people to hear through their skin. Ultimately, with Facebook's technology, humans can feel words. Eventually, they want to allow people to think something and send it to someone's skin and send a thought to someone's skin. Additionally, they will allow people to think something in one language and have a person receive it in an entirely different language through their skin. All right, like I said, this is what they're sharing with us. We already see it's illegal for them to share the technology they give to the government. Let's, let's look at something else. All right, so do you think this is technology that the government would like to have? If this is technology that the government is using in the battlefield or in some type of espionage or something like that, we already see that they're going to make it illegal for the cutting edge technology to be shared. Do you think that the government would like to have the technology to be able to read people's thoughts? Well, let's see this. Hold on one second. The voice of God weapon returns. Wired. The voice of God weapon returns. This is from Wired Magazine. The voice of God weapon, a device that projects voices into your head to make you think God is speaking to you, is the military's equivalent of an urban myth, meaning it's mentioned periodically at defense workshops. Ironically, I first heard about it at the same defense conference where I first met Noah, and typically someone whispers about it actually being used. Now, Stephen Corman, writing at the Comops Journal, describes his own encounter with this urban myth. Let me just close this pop-up. At a government workshop some time ago, excuse me, I heard someone describe a new tool that was described as the voice of Allah. This was said to be a device that would operate at a distance and would deliver a message that only a single person could hear. The story was that it was tested in a conflict situation in Iraq and pointed at an insurgent group who whipped around looking in all directions and began a heated conversation with um, compatriots who did not hear the message. At the time, I greeted this story with some skepticism. Is there any basis to this technology? Well, Holosonic Research Labs and American Technology Corporation both have versions of direct, directed sound, which can allow a single person to hear a message that others around don't hear. DARPA, again, DARPA, appears to be working on its own sonic projector. Intriguingly, Strategy page reports that troops are using the long-range acoustic device as a modified voice of God weapon. So look, we already see that the Pentagon is loving this technology and working on this technology and it even has been reported to use it in the field, in the battlefield, of projecting thoughts into people's head. So we already know they want technology to project thoughts into people's head in the battlefield. So it only makes sense that they would also like to know the thoughts that are in people's head. Now we see that the Pentagon makes it illegal for Google to share information on the technology they're giving them. So, I mean, put these things together here. I mean, it doesn't take uh, the biggest conspiracy theorist, Alex Jones, in the world to put the links together, especially when you see what's going on with us right now where all these people out there having their thoughts show up on their phones. All right, well... I know the majority of people out there are still going to say I'm crazy, but I'm trying my best to show you guys what's been happening with me and what's been revealed to us in the news. All right.